I'm going to give you a brief um, talk about marriage, about the woes of marriage. Like, you know, there's a lot of woes in marriage. Like, whoa! <laughs> um, but I love my husband to death. I do. I'm not just saying that. I mean, I'm, I I through and through love him. He's put me through the ringers. <laughs> um, and and, and I, I take a bullet for him. I love him. I think he's handsome. He's so cute. Uh, and sometimes I get to see his butt, and it's great. So, anyway, with that being said, I'm not an easy person to be married to. I'm not. I mean, I can be America's sweetheart, and I can also be Cruella, as he calls me one dia sometimes, or one demon. Um, and that's okay. I get it. I do. I'm throwing myself under the bus. I'm an overachiever. I'm a people pleaser. I like things done a certain way. And if you don't do them that way, I got to go back and, either, and redo them. I'm working on all that. I really am. I'm not working on it at all. It's who I am, and he married me. So... Let's just add a bonus. He likes the spiciness. He does. He says it turns him on. He says, when you come in here, he said, you're so short and petite. He said, you just come in here. He said, when you're mad and you're upset, he said, you think it's going to bother me. He said, it just, I like it. Okay. Well, my husband can't keep up with nothing. Nothing. I mean, he once left our checkbook at a car lot in Maine as we and re realized that as we're driving back to West Virginia and he just called him up like, hey, drop it in the mail. What? You're going to wreck us one day, boy. That's what I told him. I said, you are going to cripple us one day. He once had this phone case that had his phone and his um, ID and debit cards. You know what I'm talking about? He was high rolling. And I told him, I said, you got to get rid of that. You can't do that. I said, you are always leaving your stuff. He's like, no, I'm not. I was like, this year alone, between the Rich Station and Advance Auto, I've been called a half a dozen times because you've left your phone or your wallet there. He says, well, don't be mean about it. Buddy, I ain't being mean. I'm just trying to save us because one day... One day, and that day happened. It happened. He was in my the other day, and I messaged him, and I said, what are you doing? He said, we are on our way to get light switch plates. We who? Because this is my house as well, and I should be a part of this, and I want to pick them out because I need some dimmer switches. I needed certain things. I didn't know we was doing this today. You got a mouse in your pocket? He said, me and dad. I said, whatever. I don't care. Whatever. I'm working. I'm busy. Go do whatever. Well, I forgot about it, so I guess it wasn't that big of a deal to me. I guess I was just being one demon. And he said, well, I'll send you some pictures. You're legit going to go send me some pictures of some light switch stuff? Okay. I never got no pictures. Hours passed. Forgot about it. Obviously, it wasn't a big deal. So then, that evening, like I said, hours later, five, six hours later, his dad's FaceTiming me. So I'm expecting to open it up and his dad's face be there. Uh-uh. No. No, it was my husband. And this is what he did, too. Like, we connected. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. And, like, once he realized we're connected, he starts his show. He, he puts on shows. He takes his hat off. He's sweating, too. And you all do that. Men do that. You all, because you, you think a woman will not get mad or jump you when you've been working. They say that, like, if you have done something and you're vacuuming and your wife sees you, you're not in trouble. That's not true in my world. I'm married to a master manipulator, so I've got to be on top of what he does. So he takes off his hat, wipes his brow. He's like, he's looking at it. He's got that phone up there. He's like, hey, darling. <laughs> I said, what have you done? I knew something was up. He's calling from his dad's phone, and it's, hey, darling, which that's not super unusual. He's a sweetie. And he said, ping my phone. I said, what? He said, can you find my phone? I said, I don't know. I ain't even seen you today. I don't know where your phone's at. He said, I've laid it down somewhere. Me thinking, because he's at our new house. Me thinking he's laid it down somewhere in the house. And I said, well, call it. He said, I've tried. I don't hear it. Must have it on silent. You ping it and see where it was at last. I said, okay. He knew good and dang well that phone was not in that house. So I get on that app, and I didn't even know if it would work. But sure enough, there's his phone moving. Just moving right through Boone County. He lost it in Logan County. Anyway, I said, it's moving. It's in Boone County. I said, unless you let someone in Boone County borrow it. He went, ooh. Well, I laid it down on a box in my shopping cart at Lowe's. Come back, and I don't, I don't remember if it's there or not. Well, I'm going to help you remember. It wasn't there. So now the phone's gone, correct? So I'm pinging it. I'm FaceTiming it. And I don't know who you was that stole my husband's phone. I mean, he might have left it laying there, but the proper thing to do is to turn it in at the help desk because more than likely the person that paid for the freaking phone is going to come back looking for it. So, I'm, I'm, I'm FaceTiming his phone, and I'm calling it, and I'm in Gary's wife. Gary's phone is my trophy wife. 
That person didn't even want to know what the trophy wife looked like. They just ignored me on my own device that I paid for. I told Gary they ain't answering. So I call Verizon. They're like, we can fry it. Are you absolutely sure? I said, absolutely sure. I said, someone has it in their possession. And they're not even answering my calls. Just like my kids. Probably one of my kids had it. <laughs> and they said, we're going to fry it. They didn't get it fried till the next morning. So we went all the way to Winifred or Winifred, West Virginia or something like that. And back to um, Whitman Creek. So... I don't know who you are, but the phone got fried. I hope you can't use it. Thank God there was a passcode on it. Thank God we don't take nudes. Except for that one time, which was really dumb. And then we deleted them. And then uh, we got new phones. And like when your new information comes on your new phones, that, that picture's reappeared. And I'm like, oh my God, our kids are on our iTunes. And I was like, yeah! I'm gathering up phones, like looking through their pictures to see. So every time the phones update, I got to check their their pictures, photos, just to make sure. Because they went into the cloud. Stuff goes into the cloud and it's there forever. I mean, I got get this, this same cell phone that got stolen when Gary, like, linked up to it. All my pictures come on there. And I've had the same iTunes account for, like, 10 years. Like, all the husbands was on there <laughs> prior to him. He got mad. He's like, what are you saving these pictures for? I said, honey, that was three flip phones ago. I don't know why them's on there because it was in the cloud. Any coop. Anyway, we went out. To, I, I, okay, so I'm on the phone with Verizon. They said, you have the insurance. I said, well, praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. How would you like to pay for that? Pay for what? Your deductible. Oh, man, I forgot about that. <laughs> How much is it? $200, which I guess that's better than buying a new phone, but Gary hasn't even had that phone a year, and I actually bought it outright. I didn't do this, like, payment plan stuff with it. I mean, like, it was purchased. And then I think they send you a refurbished phone. I don't think that's a new phone they send you. But anyway, we got the phone. I called Gary back and I said, okay, I told you you was going to put us in a situation. You just did. Phone got stolen. I can't help it when it ain't my fault. It is your fault. I said, and it cost $200. I said, your error just cost us $200, Gary. What do you want me to do, Winilda? What do you want me to do? I want you to keep up with your shit, Gary Ray. Y'all don't. Today, we ate lunch. This is what triggered all this today. We ate lunch with a couple of our friends. And yesterday, Gary borrowed my debit card. He currently don't have one because he had to cancel his because of something similar to this. And he's waiting on his new one to arrive in the mail. There you go. See, I'm not over-exaggerating here. This is an issue with us. And uh, so he borrows my debit card yesterday. And legit, the place that he used the debit card, they like put it on that machine and went... <laughs> You know how it puts an imprint on the paper? I said, do people still use these? That's not safe. I didn't like it. They gave Gary the copy of it with the receipt. He leaves it laying in the restaurant today. As I'm picking up the table and looking around, making sure Gary didn't leave his phone because he does it all the time, I saw that laying there. I said, what is that? The other person that was there was like, I saw Gary take it out of his wallet and lay it down there. So I like shimmy over through the booth, booth and pick it up. Our debit card, our imprint of our debit card, our, our number, expiration date, three-digit code, address. I said, that's it. That is it. I didn't care. I walked outside that restaurant. It was raining. I said, Gary! He turned around and looked at me because he's already walking to the vehicle. He what? I said, look what you left laying in there. Who know? Glad you picked it up for me. And just kept on going. I like Mario when he got all that power on his legs, you know, and you can't even see him anymore. I came up behind him. And I just punched him in the side. I didn't really. I barely hit him in the side. And then I loved him up and tickled his back. And I said, boy, one, one of these days, one of these days, I might be laughing right now, but when you cripple us, I'm going to cripple you. I said I wanted a little Starbucks. Not I a didn't say a little Starbucks. So. See what I mean? I wouldn't want to be married to me either. Well, I love you. And don't, be, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't what you left at that car lot in Maine. I remember I left something in the mail to us. What was it? Our checkbook. Checkbook. I took uh, photos of them like normal and sent it to her. Does this suit you? What have you? And, you didn't uh, send them to me. You did. Evidently, I just took the photos and left them on my phone. 